welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about something different than uh, analysing the uh, sports or making comments on other people's uh, abilities and so and so. Today I want to talk about speed and reflexes. How to build speed and ref reflexes. Now, when I was doing a combat sport donkeys years ago, long, 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 long time ago, years and years and years and years ago, um, I wanted to be very fast, faster than the, the other person that was in front of me or the person that was going to be in, in front of me, uh, especially in the streets. Now, uh, the way I learned it was simple and it was by accident. Uh, I found that when I was working on a speed bag or punch bag or skipping or sparring or whatever, uh, I wasn't happy with the speed that I had. I wanted to be even faster. So it, it came by chance. Uh, I was at home one day and it was summer and the windows was open, you know, to get some air in and a fly came in. And I was looking at this fly and it was bugging me. It was and I thought, I didn't want to get uh, something to hit it or kill it. And I thought it landed just there, for example, you know, and I thought, I'll see if I can catch it. So I went like this and I missed. So it landed somewhere else and I went to catch it again and I missed. And I said to myself, Blimey, you're slow. You know, you couldn't catch a fly. But I didn't realize that it's very hard to catch a fly. Because as soon as the fly lands there and you're trying to catch it and you move your hand, the fly can see your hand coming and the wind, even the slightest movement of the air, the fly can sense it and it moves away. So this one for about six or seven times, I tried to catch it and I couldn't do it. And it was bugging me. I couldn't catch a fly. So that, that made me feel that I was very slow. So anyway, this went on for two, two, three days, and I came again one day. I'm sitting down, and a fly coming again, and it's going. Zzz. So I thought, oh, here's my opportunity now to catch it. So it landed. After three, four times, I wasn't successful. But then my brain started telling my hand, will my hand to be quick? So eventually I caught it. So I opened my hand, and it flew off. And I thought to myself, Wow, that was quick. Now that can build my speed up if I can keep catching a fly. So this went on for another two or three days and I kept catching this fly and I thought, right, that's too easy. That's not going to build my reflexes. So three, four days later, again, another fly come in and this time I shut the windows and doors and then I thought, right, I want to build my speed up. So I let, I let the fly, and I start, you know, using my hand, left and right, and left and right, trying to catch it. So I couldn't catch it. So anyway, that bugged me even more that I couldn't catch the fly, but I learned something. My hands was moving faster trying to catch that fly. So I thought, well, that's a good practice. So every day, I was waiting for a fly to come in, shut the window and practice. And over the course of three, four weeks, I was able to catch that fly as soon as it, as soon as it moved. So in other words, it wasn't only just building my speed, it was building my reflex because I was using both hands to catch it. And not only it built my speed and reflexes, it built my sharpness as well. I was able to use my hand at will. In other words, if I was confronting someone, I should be able to hit him with a blink of an eye. I should be able to get to him before he can get to me. So I practiced that for weeks and weeks. Every time a fly came in, I was shutting the window and the door so the fly won't escape. And I was at will. I was hitting the fly at will. That's how I built my speed and reflexes. Now, to me, speed and reflex is more important than the power. So what I've done, I've built the speed and reflexes combined together with the will to use it. So from A to B, I could just do that. It's like a you put a gun, um, 
pull it in a gun. You shoot it, it'll make a hole. But if you take a bullet and you throw it to the wall, it's going to come off bounce. It's the speed that makes the damage. So by combining the speed and the reflex together and using it at will and follow with the power is the best way, I personally think. Because when you confront someone and you, and you jab, yeah, he's got time to think after the jab. But if you use a double jab, bang, bang, yeah, it gives you the opportunity to go in because the will, your body wills you or your brain wills you to follow in. I know some people might say, uh, what is he talking about? Is he going mad? But trust me, try it for a couple of weeks and see if it does work or if it doesn't work. I guarantee you, your speed, your coordination and your reflexes is going to improve by 25 to 30%. And you would be able to use your arms at a will. From A to B, you'll get your arms there. And if you like this video, do us a favor, give that a like button, double jab, and the subscribe button, an uppercut. Thank you.